Hey everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today is pretty exciting. Uh, it is Wednesday, September 20th, and I got an email from Affinity this morning. They said, hey, version 2.2 .2 is here, and I was looking at the list of feature improvements, and the first one at the very top of the list struck my eye. It was custom fields in Publisher. So let's check it out. So this is a feature I've actually been very excited for and waiting for um, ever since I learned the data merge feature. So how do we get to it? Go to window, go to references, go to fields. This is the exact same way you get to it for data merge. Underneath data merge, you're going to see custom. And here we can add two field names. We can add a name. So we're going to call this our website. And here it's going to be shoptusher.com. That's our website if you're looking to get any Instagram templates and all the other stuff. And let's say this is um, owner, and we'll make this one Ryan T. So now we have custom document fields that we can use anywhere in our thing. So let's say visit the new website at website. Boom, shoptusher.com. There we go. Now we've got another page. Let's say our new shoptusher.com website has templates, guides, merch, and more. The website is owned by Ryan T. Boom, done. So there we go. Now we have inserted our custom fields into our document. And let's say we've changed, um, we have a different website or we're making uh, something for our client, but we want to use the same template. Let's go over here to our custom fields and change them. So let's say it is Marquez Brownlee and his website is mkbhd.com. So now you'll see on this page, our new MKBHD website has templates, merch, guides, and more. The website is owned by Marquez Brownlee and visit the new website at mkbhd.com. So it is just as easy as doing stuff with data merge, except it is just for document-based things that you don't wanna to have to type over and over and over. But I can't wait to see what you guys do with the custom fields. Hopefully you guys find something really awesome to do and hopefully it speeds up your workflow a lot. And I hope you enjoy it. If you did, consider hitting the like button. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. You can check out shoptusher.com for the Instagram carousel template um, and maybe some more stuff in the future here thank you by the way to the two people that downloaded it like this past week you guys are absolutely amazing thank you so much and until next time take care